Hey guys, thanks for stepping by my channel today. My name is Tammy and I am doing another Soap Challenge Club challenge. I haven't done one of these in so long. I signed up for the next four months. So the link to sign up to the challenge and the challenge page will be linked in my description. So check it out if you haven't ever done it. It's just a fun thing to do, uh, to try new things and to uh, maybe get out of your comfort zone, which for me often is it's out of my comfort zone. <laughs> What am I doing today? It's the pull through technique today. So I went and bought some bamboo skewers because I was almost out. And there's some thick ones and some normal size skewers in here. So I will be putting those in cardboard and then making a design in the soap. I'm gonna be using my custom craft tools, soap mold, because this makes tall and skinny soap bars and that's what I like to do right now. But I'm not gonna put the dividers in because I think that's gonna disrupt my uh, design. For the fragrance today, I'm gonna to be using Somalia Soul from Nurture Soap. I've had this for a while, guys. And I'm, I'm going through my shelf like I do every summer and just try to pull the ones that have been on my shelf for a little too long and get those used up. I probably had this for over a year. It's just one of those, so, those scents I'm just not 100% sold on, but the reviews are really good and it, it behaves very well in soap. It doesn't discolor, it doesn't accelerate, and uh, a lot of people said it's a very good seller for them. So I'm gonna give this one a go. And yeah, I'm doing it. First time ever in a challenge soap, so you know. <laughs> I did a challenge soap uh, last year or the year before, guys. It's been a while. It was the best soap I ever put out on a challenge. And I was so stinking happy with that soap. <laughs> it was it was the bottle. I put a bottle in the middle of the mold and poured over. I can't remember the names of these things. You guys know that, but I'm going to try to mimic some of those colors. So I had blue, green, purple, red, white, and brown. I'm not going to use all of those. I think I'll skip the brown, but I really want some vibrant colors. I want to use neons, but I'm a little nervous about using neon. So I'm going to really just try to get some really bright colors. I really want some vibrant colors. I want to use neons, but I'm a little nervous about using neon. So I'm going to really just try to get some really bright colors. This does have to stay really fluid for this soap design. And and a lot of people use squeeze bottles for this, so I may get out my squeeze bottles and use those too. So we're just gonna have some fun today, and I'm gonna make a small little batch of Somali Soul. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> if you're looking for a soap channel that uh, can say words right, <laughs> always has their act together, <laughs> never makes mistakes or drops things, just walk away now. <laughs> just walk away now. <laughs> we are just about there, guys. I'm going to add my sodium lactate before I forget. I'm always forgetting these things. Okay. In my life solution, I have my sugar and my citric acid, lye, and sodium lactate. I'm not doing any kind of milk on this one. I am going to be using uh, Making Waves from Micah's and More. I have Material Girl from Nurture Soap for pink. I have Force of Nature from Nurture Soap. And then I'm gonna use some activated charcoal as well. And I went ahead and dispersed all of these in a little bit of olive oil. And I think I'm going to be ready. So I'm going to get this going. I didn't get my kale and clay blended in, but I'll just do that all at once. It'll work out fine. Oops. Heavens. There we go. And I was going back and forth between the using the uh, squeeze bottles or not. I think I'm going to for all the colors but the black one. Okay. 
I am going to go ahead, before I go any further, make myself some room and get my fragrance oil in here. It is supposed to be very well behaved, so I'm just going to hope that it works out fine. And I want to figure out how much I'm pulling for each color. What am I wanting to do? Maybe, maybe I won't do a base with white. I'm thinking. I should have thought of this before I added lye and fragrance oil and all of that. <laughs> I am not the most well planned out soaper. I have almost 52 ounces, so five. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off 10 ounces of all of my colors here. That will give me 10 ounces for the base to put in the bottom. I don't know guys, I'm, I'm just winging it. All right, I, well, honestly, the soap is looking lovely. The fragrance definitely is playing really nicely. So I am going to go ahead and dirty up dishes and get these. It definitely has some thickness to it though, so I think I am going to have to move a little bit quick. So here's my hope because it is definitely kind of at a very light trace right now. I'm hoping that it'll stay at a light trace for a long time. I did very, very little stick blending to it. So I'm just really hoping that it won't be speeding up too quickly. Because if it stays at this consistency, I think I'd be very happy. Otherwise, I'm looking at it being all muddied when I pull my comb through it. That is my story. And I actually meant to pull less black off. I didn't want as much black as the other colors and I kind of forgot that just now. <laughs> all right, white's gonna go on the bottom. I'm just going to give myself a base. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to pull this way. So I'm going to actually do my lines this way. Definitely thicker than I meant for it to be. I'm just gonna keep going. until the soap is gone. I don't want it to splatter and it's starting to splatter. Okay. 
got to be done. It's starting to splatter. So let's, I think I did it backwards. <laughs> I did it backwards. Where's my tool I made? Uh, there it is. Yep, I did it backwards. I made it to do this way and now I have to take some of these out. All right. Day. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> now what? Um, I think I want to like do a swirl like that. Is that something where you kind of go opposite directions? I think this is allowed. That looks really good. Oh my. I'm quite pleased with this. I'm afraid to do too much to clean up the sides because I'm afraid if I try to clean up the sides, it's going to move the soap along the edges. So I'm not cleaning up the sides. I'm not putting the dividers in because I don't want to screw up my design here. I think that looks really pretty. Let me know what you think. And I'm looking forward to cutting this. So I'm going to put the lid on. I think. I'm nervous, guys. I don't think it'll touch. I could definitely, like, plane it if it gets a little mucked. But I really want to put this under. Is this right? Okay. I want to put this on my heat pad to try to force gel face. I'm going to very carefully, without jostling it, take it in the other room, put it on my heating pad, put lots of covers over it, and we'll cut it tomorrow. That looks neat. skinnier. That looks pretty. So I have like an hour to get this cleaned up and pictures taken and Posted. I am really under the gun, very much uh, pushing it here. But what do you think? I think I did pretty good. Now, guys, do I expect to win anything on this thing? No. <laughs> I honestly, it's not like I'm doing this because I think I'm going to win anything. It's just fun, and it is something to get my juices flowing a little bit, get my, my creativity going a little bit. I'm really happy with them. I think they're really pretty. 
So I'm just cleaning up the edges. They're a little bit thinner than I meant for them to be. The last time I used that mold, I put too much soap in it and they were way too thick to the point where I couldn't even get the lid on. And I was worried about, I really wanted to get the lid on on this one so that I would have uh, less soda ash. This one is, feels like it's humongous compared to these. But it's a pretty swirl. I, and I don't know if I want to plane the top. Sometimes planing the tops can really bring out the colors. So these are definitely not for the pictures because they're a little janky. This one's not too bad. This one's a little janky. This one's just humongous, but that's okay. Let me get my planer and let's see the difference between a planed one and a non-planed one. All right, let's do, this one seems to be a little rough on the edges, so let's just do this one. I don't know, it almost, it almost feels like it's muddied it a little bit. Um, I don't like that one. I'm gonna try that one more time. I really don't notice that much of a difference. I, I honestly think it looks better not being planed. So I think I'll just hold on planing any of them. I think they're really pretty guys. I think it's very pretty. I like the, the, the side looks neat too. Some of them are quite muddied on the side and that may be like the outer edges is probably what that is. But the interior edges, they have that, that drippy look to them. I think that's really neat. I like that a lot. So there they are. <laughs> very cute. I'm very happy with them. Guys, thanks for watching this Soap Challenge Club Challenge Soap that I did. I really do appreciate the time that you give me. Thank you so much for all your likes, subscribes, your comments, everything. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. Bye. <laughs> I'm off. I gotta go get pictures. Bye. <laughs>